Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm here to tell you about another great and fantastic trip and adventure I had in December of 2011 when I went to Cozumel, Mexico. I went down there with my girlfriend Joanna and we went not only to get away from the Chicago cold but also to go scuba diving. We were there with a group called Dive Heart. Dive Heart is a nonprofit organization that takes people with high level injuries, limited mobility, and all types of disabilities scuba diving. While we were down there, we were there for seven days, and five of those days we had an option to go diving. But as relaxing and as great as scuba diving is, it's very exhausting as well. So me and Joanna just went every other day. So we did a total of three dive days, and each dive day consists of two dives. So I did six dives and Joanna did three. Well, we thought we would show you a little bit of our diving adventure. So here's uh, one typical day of a dive we went on. Check it out. As you can see, there was a number of people there with and from Dive Heart. Most of them were buddies and volunteers, but there were five of us there with some sort of disability. Each morning started with an early 6.30 wake up call. And then breakfast at 7.30 and meet by the dock and cabana to get ready at 8 o'clock. It wasn't easy putting on a wetsuit, especially when you're paralyzed. And usually I needed two to three people's assistance to get it on. But eventually we did. The boat arrives around 9 a.m. each morning, stocked with tanks full of air so we can go on our diving adventure. Once we are suited up and ready, it was time to roll down the dock and get transferred onto the boat. Now, this is one thing I was kind of worried about. I didn't want to end up between the dock and the boat. That would have just been terrible. But these guys just grabbed me, swooped me up, and easily transferred me from the dock to the boat. Well, at least it was easy for me. Once I was seated and secure, it was time for everybody else to get on the boat. That guy right there, that's Jim Elliott. He started and founded Dive Heart in 2001. A quick sticker to christen the boat, and we are on our way to dive. On this particular dive day, there was a film crew there filming for an upcoming documentary on Dive Heart and our Cosmel Diving Trip. Each dive spot takes about 30 to 40 minutes to get to from the dock. During the boat ride to the diving spot, everyone is just talking, taking photos, and just getting to know each other even better. The guy there in the middle, that's Greg. He's a Marine who suffered a TBI. 
traumatic brain injury. The guy in the middle there with the glasses on, that's Ian. Ian is in the Air Force and he was injured during a motorcycle accident and has a low level spinal cord injury. This is Gabe. Gabe's been diving for over 40 years, but just a few years ago started slowly losing his sight. And this is Daryl. Daryl was partially paralyzed during a back surgery and has partial paralysis. This is one of the dive masters on the boat. And before getting to the dive spot, he would explain the location with the dive depth, the dive length time, the current and drift speed, natural features, wildlife, and where the boat would meet us when we came back up. The only next thing to do was to gear up and get in the water. Everybody was in, it was time to descend. Scuba diving is both calming and exciting. You always have to remember to keep calm, cool, and collective. Oh, and always remember to keep breathing.
the dive is over, everyone meets at 15 to 20 feet below the surface for several minutes to regulate the pressure before coming up out of the water. Once everyone's up, it's time to get back on the boat. Once everyone is out of the water and in the boat, we are headed to our next dive location. While I'm on the way to the next location, the crew of the boat serves fruits, cookies, and water so all the divers can replenish themselves for the next dive. It takes about 20 to 40 minutes to get to the second dive location. Once at the new location, the dive master once again explains the depth of the location, how long we will be diving for, what we can see, and how fast the drift is. Once everyone's prepared and ready to go, it's time to get back in the water.
again, once everyone pops back up, we all get back on the boat. But this time, we're headed straight to the hotel. Let me tell you a little story of how our music came to be. It took two minds, two ukuleles, and a few good harmonies. Something else helped inspire us to play the way we play. The musicians that came before us. Overall, our diving adventure went great. It was very exciting, interesting, fun, and life-changing. We went on a total of three days of diving. We dove for between 35 and 60 minutes each time, and our record depth was 55 feet. After being out on the ocean for almost four hours, doing two dives and being underwater for almost two hours, everyone was really tired and very exhausted. Everyone's ready to get back to the hotel, warm up, get dressed, go have dinner and a few drinks with their diving buddies. And let me tell you, after all that time in the water, I sure was cold and could use a warm up. I look forward to diving again in the near future and must thank Dive Heart for this great adventure. Takes away all my days